What's up guys, how's it going? Mark Freeman 408. We're back, back from Arkansas. It was a wild trip, but I am glad to be home because we get to do car stuff now. So anyways, we just launched a new merch store. It's in Canadian, so obviously it's cheaper. We got some pretty sick designs. Obviously I can't wear all of them, but there's, I think there's over 50 designs or styles there now. So make sure you go check it out. We have hats available as well. So we're thinking car jump today. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to jump some cars. We got Rob right, here. Guys. How are you? How you? Going, guys? He's also rocking the freshy Mark Freeman 408 hat. <laughs> I can't even talk right now. So these are actually limited edition hats. There's only 25 available. So they come in the limited edition pack. There's a camo sweater, uh, lanyard, signed postcard, and that hat. So make sure you go check it out. But to start, we got to... I forgot we left this thing over here. It's been here for like a month now. So let's move that back over there and we're either gonna jump this one or the other one today. This one's two wheel drive, rear wheel drive, and the other one's all wheel drive. But the steering's a little funky. Yeah. Funky. So I'll, I don't know which set of keys it is. It's one of the Ford keys, take both. Let's see if we can get this thing up and running. Let's see if we can even open the hood first. Yeah. Oh yeah, the old, uh, all right. I need more hands here. Boom, got the old headrest. Hopefully this thing runs without leaving the NOCO on it because they don't really like leaving the NOCO on it. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do when you're gonna do it, right? right. No, we haven't done it in a while. In a while? We, in a while. Haven't, we haven't done the old uh, Yankum rope, car flip over, barrel roll. Buddy, where's that Yankum? Uh, to the back. I just threw it back there. Remember we were having bets though? What was our record? Three? Yeah. Or two and a half? Two and a half. Two and a half. So we got to beat two and a half this year. What our problem was, so we basically have like a 50 foot, no, probably 100 foot strap plus the anchor rope. And we wrap it around the vehicle, then I drive away. But obviously there's a lot more weight at the front of the vehicle with the engine there. So we were wrapping around like right here. And we'd get around like one and a half times and then the front would catch. So I think we need to wrap it more around the windshield area. So, all right, this thing gonna fire up or what? I think so. Yeah, she's making some noise. We got a flat tire. Oh, yeah. You know, flat tire in the back, soft one in the front. Now, will it run with it out this? No. All right. Up. We're off again. Who made these battery turnables? All right, start up. <laughs> Should we start a burnout? All right, let's do it. Start with the burnout. Get her overheated. Definitely, I think this is the one we're gonna jump today. She's front wheel drive, but it's uh, everything's a lot tighter inside than that one. I don't know if you guys remember when Rob jumped it last fall, possibly winter. Yeah, I can't quite remember. I don't think I don't know. Sometime around. Around there. Yeah, you know, before the sun disappeared for the whole winter. But uh, yeah, so. This thing still does still run good, but as you can see, the front tire is pretty crooked. And when you go to steer, the amount of play in it is ridiculous. So I'm just worried about right now coming down and like, you know, when I strap the steering wheel down, it doesn't really do much and it either misses the jump or whatever. So we're just gonna jump this one for now because why not, right? And the rad is screwed on this thing, so it overheats quite fast. So I think we should just- Have you done anything to the runway since winter? I have not touched it. She looks pretty rutted out up there. Maybe but. some surprises. I'll be fine. I I haven't been down here. I've been in Arkansas and all over the freaking, all over the map. But I'm back and it's time to go. And we're gonna get lots of vehicles this year. I want to do a lot of trucks this year because I feel like people like trucks. But I don't know. The views on trucks seem to be way better. And we're gonna blow up this damn Cadillac. 
Hopefully soon. Like a shotgun hole in that bad boy. All right, we're just getting it all rigged up right now. So I just used the head mount on the GoPro and put it around the, uh, the headrest. And then I use a bungee cord on there because you know, it's pretty rough run up to it and it tends to flop. So obviously we want to see the best shot. Sometimes I'll put it in the back seat too. Um, it all varies what angle you want. Uh, I've also used a suction cup on the window. That works really well as well, but I've had it flop off, you know, depending on how hard the landing is. You never know what's gonna happen with these vehicles, right? So. Suction cup on the front window? Uh, I usually do it on the back window. Huh. Cause the front window tends to break a lot. So. Okay. Yeah, plus everything that's in the back flies to the front, so. Nice. We have our launch o -matic. I just use a PVC pipe now. I used to use a two by four with shingles on it, but someone stole it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who wanted it so bad, but it was literally just a beat up old two, two by four with some shingles on it. And it had launch o -matic <laughs> written out on it, but someone came down here and took it, so. Yeah, huh. this is what I use now, and there's bullet holes in it. I don't know how, but. <laughs> And then for the finale, we just use a ratchet strap. So I used to never use a ratchet strap. And obviously I learned my lessons over the years when they tend to go left or right. So usually I'll just put it through here. You can put it through there, you can put it through the headrest or you can put it through the door handle. It all depends on the vehicles. Obviously these door handles, you can't put anything through. So I just wrap it through there. I attach it to the headrest here. And then once I get to the top, I, I make sure it's tight and everything. So, and then, yeah, that's basically it. Get to the top, put it in neutral, launch a Maddox, slide the seat forward wide open, click it and drive. So uh, today I will probably leave traction control on just because since it's front wheel drive, if you don't, it'll spin out of control and they tend to like spin and drift to the left or right. So I'll leave it on. And as soon as it starts coming down the hill, it'll pick up a ton of speed. So we'll set up the Scotio drone and we'll, uh, See how much air time we can catch with this thing. Well, let's give her. <laughs> let's do it. So I totally forgot that this thing won't run without the NOCO. So basically, I've got booster cables on. I'm going to leave the hood kind of half cracked. Run them through the window. Don't worry, I've done this before. And then put the NOCO in the back seat pocket and obviously strap it in there. I have accidentally left the NOCO under the hood before. And it never turns out well. If it doesn't break, it's covered in coolant. And usually most of the time I've smashed, I think two or three now. So we've learned our lesson, but yeah, if it's strapped in that backseat pocket, should be A-OK. -okay. So just waiting for Rob, he'll be back in a sec, just grabbing a strap. And yeah, we'll set the old Skydio drone up and get see if this thing can uh, jump over the house. Look at this kit. We got the Skydio, Noco strapped in the back. Of course it's not working. <laughs> We don't even have a good enough connection. Hold on. All right, so we got it. I pulled it out of the back seat. Basically, I just held the extra ones up against it. It's we got enough uh, battery to start it, and then now it's just kind of trickle charging, so it stays on. Obviously, the alternator's gone, so she doesn't idle. All right, let's let's get to the top and get this done. All right, no power steering, no problem. Hopefully, the hill's not too muddy. Up there, girl. Oh, yeah. All right, let's turn around, get her lined up, and go. <laughs> you nervous? I got the nervous <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
We got a runner. She's done running though. That rock's a great in a great spot. I'm glad I put it there. Holy, that was a great jump. That was like perfect. Oh yeah. Uh. All right. We got the new Scadio 2 Plus drone. We got some antennas now, so it goes way further. Now we get to go see the uh, the carnage of the Ford. <laughs> so this is the handy little case it comes in. With all your batteries, all your goods, your remotes. Hopefully I didn't lose the beacon, I just left her in the front seat. Uh-oh. But our, our little rig worked there, eh? With the no-co and all the cords. Oh, that was great. Oh, right into the back. <laughs> you know, if it does keep going, like some of them do, those Fords, I tell you, they just, they don't want to die. So as you can see, this one went through here, so it just missed this giant rock. But I've seen it push some of these boulders six feet. No way. Oh yeah, like the bigger vehicles. Yeah, yeah. But it definitely, it definitely caught air over here again. So, and then I have a rock wall all along here. It looks like you got a tree wall too. <laughs> yeah. If all else fails, we got the tree wall. <laughs> and after that, we have the river with a fence. Oh yeah, you're set then. Oh yeah, see. Whoa, see went right through way. here. Uh, let's check the dumb eyes. But yeah, you can see we've nailed a few boulders before, so. You got a little trench here? Now the big issue is how are we gonna get this out of here? <laughs> yeah. Outside airbags run off, that's good. The NOCO stayed in its place. The beacon. Oh, you got it? Jammed her in oh, the seat. Oh, buddy. All right, well, you know what? I might, I think this thing might start again. Did front airbags go off? Uh, no. That's the curtains. Huh. And I think they actually went off when it hit these rocks. Oh, okay. I don't know if you heard that, it went psh. I heard something, but we'll be able to tell in the slow-mo maybe. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's check this side. It's funny, they all end up over here like the, I think the Toyota hit this tree. <laughs> oh yeah, our front tire is done there. That was the first point of contact, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't know if you can see from that angle, but I can come back in here. She definitely got dinged up good. You can see where oh, yeah. the rock took off the bumper. So, now the real thing is. Is that tire flat? Uh, I don't know. I don't think it is. I think it's just in the ground. That's wild. Let's see if we can start it again. <laughs> I think we can. Just back her up. I'm glad we put it in a thorn tree. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll let you do that. All right. If you want to run around and grab the no-co. <laughs> All right, we got anything? Give her a whirl. Fire it up. Oh, come on. I don't think I have these on right. Try that. We're running out of juice here. How the hell did we get these on before? Yeah, try that. All right, hold on, I need two hands here. So we ran this thing, this engine off this booster the whole time. So we have officially killed the booster. So I think we're just gonna leave it here for now. Let her cool down, think about what it's done. And uh, we're gonna head back and go enjoy the rest of our day. I'm glad that went well. I can't wait to see the, uh, the GoPro drone footage. Look at the freaking birds waiting to kill us. <laughs> Hey, that was a successful one, eh? Sweet, man. That was good air. Yeah. It made it down here. Like that was part of the that was part of the, like one of the best parts is how it broke through all these rocks here. That's always That's the best the part. Trees. Yeah, the trees. It's always just a pain to pull it out. The only thing I I could have done, but I was kind of 50% about it was uh take traction control off. I always am super iffy about that because coming down the uh the approach there, it is still a little muddy. And it can spin out of control and go left, right. So yeah, I think it would have went further for sure, but I'm glad we didn't because it might not, not even hit the jump. Yeah. So I'm glad we could get the successful car jump out of the way. Do you and think if you like reduce it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she'll fire right up. So, but uh, I think we're good for today. We'll let her, it's probably overheated anyway. So we'll let it sit here, cool down and uh, Maybe come back later this week. Oh, my watch is listening to everything. Further proof that 
boosters only work for a certain way. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a booster. It's not a runner. It's not an actual <laughs> battery. It's just to, it's to send the jolt, get it started, and be done with. So you can boost a ton of cars off it, but you're not supposed to run them with it on it. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out the merch store if you want to enter in for any giveaways. As soon as you get to the merch store, a little pop-up will appear. You can enter your email in there and uh, for all future giveaways. So obviously we got tons of fresh stuff. We got that sexy hat there. And uh, yeah, so go follow Rob on Instagram. Don't do anything we wouldn't do. Get yourself a Ford Escape and a NoCo and launch it into space. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. See ya.